Jeffree Star's new mystery NFL player. I think we found out who it was, or most probably who it wasn't. Let's get into this drama. Let's talk about this drama. All right, so Jeffree Star started posting pictures of him on a private jet, with holding hands with the mystery NFL player, and then photo surface of this guy that was like half nude, and I was like, okay. And then he put the goat symbol, and then everyone's saying like Tom Brady is the goat of all time, so that people were like making that connection. So we all thought it was either Tom Brady or somebody else. Well, it wasn't that long ago that Jeffree Star said that he was gonna go to California so he could film a podcast with someone. And I was like, okay, who's he gonna possibly film a podcast with? And I thought it was gonna be Shane Dawson at one point. But that never happened. Shane Dawson continued to post podcasts. We didn't see them at all. And I was like, okay, so Shane Dawson did not have Jeffree Star on his show for 2023. I don't think Shane Dawson's had Jeffree Star on. Hey, I know that Jeffree Star showed up on The Sip, but I don't think that Jeffree Star went on over to Shane Dawson's podcast yet. But all that to say this, Jeffree Star ended up, we got this receipt last night, Jeffree Star ended up posting a photo proving that he was with another NFL player. People were speculating that this is the guy that he's been allegedly dating, the flirting with, hanging out with, you know, just two adults hanging out. And I was like, no, because that's not the same guy that you posted earlier, Jeffrey. The other guy was draped in Louis Vuitton. Mm-hmm. This guy, girl, went down to the Ross. Okay, cross-dressed for less, and then bought, I'm like, no, this, this is this is two different guys. This is just two different guys, all right? Before I go any further, this video is sponsored the house by adamandeve.com. Thank you, adamandeve.com, for sponsoring this video. You know I love you guys so much, and they love when you use my code, LUX, L-U-X, at adamandeve.com for 50% off and free shipping for United States and Canada. Listen, it's not all about adult toys at adamandeve.com. They also have amazing lubricants silk pajamas, pillowcases, like stuff for the men too, like full pajama outfits for the guys. So I love that. And really cute lingerie. So definitely check out adamneve.com. A portion of the proceeds goes to help and find a cure and fight for HIV and AIDS. I love companies that give back, so definitely check them out. And don't forget to use code LUX, L-U-X, at adamneve.com. Let's get on with this drama. Now, according to The Sun, it says this. The YouTuber Jeffree Star took to TikTok yesterday to post another video with the mystery NFL player who was revealed revealed to be Tennessee Titans player Taylor Luan. Viewers quickly realized it was likely a troll and the video was a promotion for Taylor's podcast. The two have had Twitter exchanges in the past as Taylor leaned into the drama to identify Jeffrey's NFL boot. Now we know this we know this to be true because Jeffrey Star posted a picture with the guy, but then Jeffrey Star posted a picture of him sitting down podcast style with Taylor. So there you go. This is what it was all about. This is Jeffree Star to drum up drama. The, the mystery boxes are still for sale for Valentine's Day. The hoodie that's now sold out, which I thought was pretty cute. I actually wanted that one. It was like sold out, whatever, but uh, I don't know what's gonna happen now. I don't think it was so much to drum up attention for the NFL players podcast, I think it benefited both of them. I think it made Jeffree Star look more sexy in a way because men want him. And so like, well, who's this guy he's dating? You know, that, that type of thing. But then also I kind of feel like, again, it benefited both of them. Taylor's podcast was probably low on views. Let's hype it up. Let's get some views. Jeffree Star, you know, center of controversy a lot of the time. So he's like, let me date an NFL player. But you know, the mystery remains. It's like, who was that first guy that Jeffree Star was with holding hands in the private jet in the restroom at Jeffree Star's Wyoming mansion? Who is that guy? Now, it could easily be um, a rent man, a rent boy, a friend of Jeffree's, a ranch handler. So it could be any of those, uh, an assistant that we don't know about playing along, a paid actor. We don't know. It could be so many things and so much more. The police officer that apparently Jeffree starts dating in Wyoming. It's so much going on right now. Now, 
Let's switch gears here because now that we found out what's really going on and who the guy was, I, 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 part of me still feels like Jeffree Star is dating an NFL player and that this was just like a troll stunt. He doesn't want no one to know. Super Bowl is this Sunday, so we will see if Jeffree Star is with other men or not so we can speculate. But anyone that Jeffree Star takes pictures with, we're just going to assume they're dating the house. Dating the house. But... Michaela Noguera is in the Super Bowl with Jeffree Star. They attended the same parties. They were in the same venue underneath the same roof. Now, some of you are saying, how is Michaela at the Super Bowl? Well, Michaela got flown out by Rihanna Fenty Beauty, which I thought was so fake, the house, girl. Like, Rihanna, listen, there are a lot of influencers right now who are on TikTok and YouTube saying, thank you, Rihanna, for flying me out. I appreciate it. They're there. This is happening days ago, right? Michaela posts a TikTok where she's so excited about going to the Super Bowl party with Rihanna Fenty Beauty or whatever, right? I can't believe this is happening. I'm freaking... Fenty Beauty invited me to the Rihanna concert. I know it's a thing where they throw a football around, but I'm going to the Rihanna concert. I'm doing my hair, face mask, nails, and we're going to fucking Arizona. I can't breathe. I can't, I can't believe this is fucking happening, bro. What the? What? <laughs> okay, let me go wash this off because we got to get ready to go to the airport. In honor of this occasion, let's do a full face of Fenty favorites. Look at all this. Holy sh It's like football themed. I use the football sponge to do my makeup. So, two different options for foundation. I think I'm gonna mix them. I've never tried that before. So, I'll put a little bit of the Ease Drops and then some of the Pro Filter. This Pro Filter is super matte on me, but with the Ease Drops, it gives it like a nice glow and keeps that full coverage. So, I can't believe this is happening to me. Like, even my parents were like, are you f***ing with us? Okay, the combination of the two, fire. I love me some matchsticks. Shade Mocha for warmth. By the way, Fenty also slays in the brush department. I'm gonna use 110 to blend this out. I've also never been to Arizona, so I'm like really excited because I just enjoy going to new places. So we're gonna go to the airport for 10. It's 825. I think we're gonna be good on time. Okay, this is the Rose Quartz Matchstick. Um, if you have darkness under your eyes, the color correcting matchsticks are really nice. And I tap it in with my finger. So not only am I going to the Rihanna concert, but this is like a four-day Fenty event. There's a lot going on. Okay, now I'm going to use the Fenty concealer. I'm going to take you on the entire trip with me. Obviously, I love taking you guys along. And I've done stuff with Fenty before. They get f***ing lit. They get so lit. Like, I don't, this, I, I can, I just imagine that this brand trip is going to be f***ing wild. Like, we're just going to have a f***ing blast. Okay, I'm setting the face with the Fenty Butter Powder. There are going to be some creators on this trip that I have dreamed to meet. Like, I'm actually kind of nervous to meet these people. I am literally about to be in the presence of greatness. I use shade butter. Now I'm going to take the lavender shade to brighten. I basically just lightly dust it under the eyes. The reason I'm doing all this makeup just to go to the airport is because I have to go to an event the minute I arrive. <laughs> Flight's about seven hours, but I trust Fenty. I know this makeup's going to last. Okay, I'm gonna bronze up the face. I love the Fenty bronzer palette. I just think Rihanna's like really inspirational. I mean, frick, she's a new mother. She's one of the biggest singers of all time. She has a freaking lingerie line. One of the biggest beauty lines. She just like freaking is awesome. Okay, diamond bomb. The skin is just given. Okay, I'm gonna use my Fenty lipstick and my Fenty gloss. Off to the airport. But I'm like, you've been knowing. Like, you're faking at the house. You've been knowing that you were gonna go to this Super Bowl party, and this was all pre-recorded, so she's acting all shook the house. Like, oh my God, I can't even go. You've been knowing. Your your flight was already booked. Your, your hotels were already booked. You've been knowing. So I just think that she overly dramatic, dramatic tights. I don't know. She brought the drama in that TikTok girl. Let me show you. I don't know. I just kind of felt like, really? Like, I can't believe this is happening. I'm freaking. Fenty Beauty invited me to the Rihanna concert. I know it's a thing where they throw a football around, but I'm going to the Rihanna concert. Oh my God. I don't know. I just kind of felt like, really? Like, 
people are already there. You've been knowing you were gonna go. Like it doesn't it doesn't make any sense that you would open it. Oh my God, I'm going, and then you're there. Like that's just not. You have to like plan stuff. Who's gonna take care of the animal? You know the two puppies. Who's gonna take care of Cody? You know what I'm saying? You gotta get maybe medication in order. If you take medication, you gotta make sure you have enough so you don't run out during the trip. Like there's a lot. There's a lot of people just can't pick up and go anymore. A lot of people are like, no, I got animals. I have kids. I have missing my medications. I gotta sit. Let me make these appointments. I have to arrange things. It's not stressful, girl. Sometimes you need like a vacation from a vacation. I'm just saying. Like sometimes when I go to Disney, it's like a vacation. But when you get back, you need a vacation from the vacation. So as I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But all the best to her. We will, we will be watching. You already know. We will be watching Michaela and see what she's doing. And really, does she have to bring Cody everywhere she goes? Like, oh my God. Leave Cody at home. Let him let him take care of the dogs, girl. Let him like let him like watch the house. You know? Live your best life. But anyways, all that to say this. Let me know what you think about today's drama with Jeffree Star. Do you think that he was trolling the house? And also, let me know what you think about Michaela and her situation with Cody. Mm-hmm. We got more Michaela drama. There's a lot of Michaela drama. It's like a lot. I can't, I can't believe the amount of Michaela drama that I literally am sitting on. And I'm just like, girl, I'm just bored the house, girl. But if you want to catch up on all the tea, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Check me out on Twitter. Check me out on TikTok. Check me out on Instagram and Twitch as well. So I love you guys so, 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 so much. And thank you to today's sponsor, AdamNeve.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much.